Hey guys, how are you? All right, we're here with another design team challenge and while we're doing that, I'm going to play with, these are all the newly released stencils. <laughs> um, there's 28 of them, because <laughs> I'm crazy that way. Um, anyway, this month I challenged the design team with the phrase, tag your it. I have a video coming up for my creative year um, in which I talk about my thoughts which kind of coordinate with tag your it uh, without me realizing that the two kind of go together. So um, I'm not going to say too much more about my idea of, that I talk about in the My Muse video for my creative year. It will be aired on here on YouTube the first Wednesday after you see this. So stay tuned um, if you want to get notification of when that comes out, make sure you um, subscribe. I would appreciate it if you like and share while you're at it. And also um, click on that little bell icon so you get notifications when the videos come out. Um, anyway, so tag your it. So I challenge them with that phrase. As always, I always tell the team, look, this is what I'm gonna tell you that I'm gonna give you as a, pro a creative prompt if you're not feeling it, do something else. It's about being creative, enjoying the process, and not um, trying to squeeze yourself into some uh, some other person's parameters of what they think you should be doing or anything else. Um, so I can't wait to see what they come up with. These paints I'm going to be playing with um, in this video, these are Blick Matte Acrylic Paints. These are um, new to me. This is one of my <laughs> longtime favorite color combinations from way back. Um, um, and so when I need sort of default colors, I usually, and I want to try a new product, I usually go with these. So we're going to be playing with some of the stencils with these. And I am going to speed forward through the process. I will link my Etsy store in the description below. I'm going to do, oh, I forgot the safety seal. I'm going to do um, a quick flip for you all and tell you what the names are of them. And then this is a pain. It's nice that they have that safety seal, but it's kind of a pain in the neck. And the bottles are hard to squeeze, just FYI. The paint, the paint may be great, but so far it's kind of a pain in the neck. Okay. Oops. Really hard. Okay, wow. All right, so this one is called Splash. This is another stencil in the Modern Atomic series. This is number 18, 15, 17. This one is intended to be layered with 18. So you do this one in a solid color and then you do this one over the top. 14, all of the modern atomic stencils are, stencils are intended to be layered. Um, 13, seven, 16, 18, 12, and again, like 12 is intended to be layered with this one, with 13, and 8 is intended to be layered over the top of 7, 11, 9, 10, again, these are tended to be layered over the top of each other. 
And then we have uh, the new Black Paper Doodle series. This is Bloom. This is one by the new manufacturer, so they have the name of the stencil etched into the edge. So that's Bloom. This one is Primitive. Uh, um, this one is Single Cell. This one is Spotted. Ten Dot. These are also intended to be or can be layered on top of each other. Um, this one is Impression. There we go. Um, this is um, a what we call four, I call four square. So it's got four tiny designs on one stencil, some of which you saw already, so that you've got 10 dot on here. Um, this one is four square number six. You can do this one first and then layer this on top of it. You can do this one first and then layer that on top of it. This is four square. Seven. Same thing. Let's see, there we go. Can you see those? Um, four square nine. Four square eleven. Four square eight. Um, petals. Amoeba. Four square ten. And last but not least, petri dish. So I am going. Okay, so this paint actually works really well despite my issues with the bottles. Um, they are a really hard plastic bottle, but they have a squeeze top. So I don't know. But the paint is um, very opaque, dries pretty quickly, and because it's a matte paint, it's going to be easy to doodle over. Uh, any of you who've been doing mixed media and like to doodle over your paint know uh, the glossy paints tend to really just mess up your pens like there's no tomorrow. Um, so I like making these backgrounds and doodling on them and then I can create tags and things out of these and send them off um, in Happy Mail or use them in other mixed media projects. I do usually when I create backgrounds of my own products and my own work um, I do usually, before I cut the original up, I usually scan it if I really like it. So there's a tip for you all. So this month, the design team challenge is Tag Your It. And I would love to see what not only they do with that challenge, but what do you all do? Now, if you're interested in any of the stencils, the new ones that are out, or the old ones that were already out, or any other products from my Etsy store, there is a coupon code in the video description for 20% off your entire purchase. So use it and um, enjoy. I hope that um, you found something interesting in this video. Please go and check out the design team's blog page and um, see what they're all up to. I'd love you to show them all some love and support. I try to keep the blog page updated so that you can go to um, the different de um, designers' names and there'll be a, uh, links by month um, so we're filming this for July. So up until July, you'll notice that like August doesn't work yet because the video is not out yet. If the July button doesn't work yet, it's because their video is not out yet. But you can watch June's and May's and April's and March's and going back to January. Um, so all their videos are going to be there. Go check them out. They've all been doing some great work this year. I will keep the design team blog page updated as often as humanly possible so that you get all of their um, links on there. Speaking of which, I have to do that again today. So that's it for right now. If you want to follow me on social media or support my channel and the free content here on YouTube and over in Facebook in the Facebook groups, 
um, and you don't want to do it via Etsy. There's lots of other ways to do that. Um, go to the link tree list of links and you'll find the places you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and you'll find all the different places you can support the free content. Um, so check it out. My happy email address is down there too. You don't have to send me happy email, but it should you choose to, that address is down there. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day. Make some fun art, do some fun things, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. <laughs>